In today's video, I'm going to be trying out a poly gel kit from Timu, retail for $21. So if you want to see more, let's get to the unboxing. So the name of this poly gel brand is called Lime Girl and we get 9 tubes of 15 gram poly gels. So we will get to that later on in the video. So I'm showing you guys here some dual forms. We get the curved dual forms. Next we get 5 nail clips. So these nail clips are used to hold down the dual forms. I don't really like using these nail clips. I've used it once and I didn't like it so I know I'm not going to use that again. Then we get some paper dual forms. A 600 slash 3000 buffer. A 100 slash 180 grit hand file. And we get a 6 watch nail lamp. So these are the usual nail lamps that you get in your nail kits. These nail lamps should not be used to cure fully a nail set. It should only be used to flash cure a nail set since it is not strong enough to fully cure a nail set and i will always suggest that you use a 36 or a 48 watts nail lamp to cure your nails since these lamps are really weak the chances of it fully curing your nails is very slim and you don't want to be walking around with uncured poly gel on your nails Then we get a base coat and a top coat and I really like that they were individually packaged. I love how all of the liquids and poly gels were individually packaged in this kit. Then we get the slip solution. And the poly gel brush and picker. So back to the nine tubes of poly gels. So I placed them in numerical order and I'm just going to be removing the bags that they came in and this is how it looks. This is the back of the tube with the ingredients and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be opening them to show you guys that all of them came sealed. So I'm going to be swatching each of the polygels so that you all can see the beautiful colors that I got. So I'm just going to let this part play out and I'll be back shortly. So these are all of the swatches after they were cured. Now let's get to the nail tutorial. So I am just going to be pushing back the cuticles. So the previous day of me doing this nail set, I had a little accident on the index nail. I practically sliced my cuticle. It didn't hurt and there wasn't that much blood but I just thought I would let you guys know. So I had to be very careful when doing the index nail. Then I'm just using my cuticle nippers to cut around the cuticle area to remove the dead skin from around that area. Next, I'm using my cuticle bit to go around the cuticle area just to lift up any of the dead skin from off of the nail plate. And I'm also going to be doing the same thing for the rest of the nails but I'm just speeding up this process right here. I did notice that the clear poly gel wasn't looking as clear as when I swatched my Lofuana's poly gel kit also from Timu. I will leave a link in the car so that you can check out that poly gel kit. So I noticed it but I thought I probably wasn't seeing right one or maybe the swatch got dirty when it was in the kit with everything else. So that is what I was thinking because I only noticed that it wasn't super clear a few days later when it was time for me to do the nail set but i was thinking both things probably happened one out of the two so i didn't think nothing of it after that so anyway moving on i am applying my nail tips that i also got from timu i'm using my model ones s meow nail lamp to flash cure them and then i fully cured them for 30 seconds Thank you. 
now i just cut down the nail tips a tad bit because i didn't want them that long then i am applying gel base coat to all of the nails and then i would cure that for 30 seconds usually i would buff the surface of the nails to remove the shine and then apply the gel base coat but since i'm not leaving these nails on for that long since i did apply my own peel off base coat off camera i decided to skip the step of buffing the surface of the nails I am not using the 6 watts nail lamp that was included. Although it is a nice nail lamp, it is not effective enough for me to use. So I'm using my 48 watts nail lamp and I'm also using the slip solution provided and this slip solution seems to be rubbing alcohol or something like rubbing alcohol. It wasn't a bad slip solution. It didn't have my nails and my fingers feeling greasy or anything like that. It was just feeling wet and I prefer when slip solutions are just wet on the nails like how rubbing alcohol is as opposed to having those slip solution that is more of a gel based coat so when it's all over your nails it just feels greasy i don't like that feeling so i'm using my milky white i really wanted to use this milky white poly gel this is the second milky white poly gel i've ever used so i was really excited to use it for some weird reason so on the pinky nail i just applied a bead of the milky white poly gel and i'm just distributing that only to the tip area i'm not going down to the nail bed area too much only to feed the poly gel into the nail bed area but not too much and i also like to taper in the side so that when i'm filing i don't have a lot of filing to do it usually reduces the amount of time that i file so i make sure to taper in the sides of the nails and make sure the surface of the nail is really smooth so i liked this milky white poly gel although i got some bubbles in the nail it wasn't that bad i didn't mind it so i'm just smoothening the poly gel on the nail and when i'm satisfied with how that looks i would cure that for 30 seconds then i'm just placing a small bead at the tip area since when i popped the bubble from that area it just didn't hold the shape that it once had so i'm just applying some more poly gel just to get that square look that it once had yeah and then i would cure that as well for 30 seconds now on to the index nail i'm going to be doing a marble nail so i start by applying a small bead of the milky white poly gel to the nail bed area and i'm just distributing that at the nail bed area first making sure that it goes nicely around the cuticle area then i would start the marble so i just placed a bead of a few beads actually of the clear poly gel on the index nail and i didn't cure the milky white at the nail bed area by the way and now i'm applying some more milky white poly gel then i dip my dotting tool in a slip solution and i am just going to be swirling the poly gel to get the marble effect on the index nail next i'm just going to be patting the poly gel and making sure to distribute the poly gel on the nail so that the nail looks really neat and nice and when i am satisfied with how that looks i would cure that for 30 seconds 
Also, since I did damage my cuticle area on the index nail, I was trying my best to be very careful around the cuticle area, making sure that the poly gel is really neat around the cuticle area so that I don't have much filing or any filing to do around that cuticle. And it wasn't that bad. While I'm speaking to you guys right now, it is the day after doing this nail set and my cuticle is healed. It was feeling a bit tender while doing this nail set but right now it's really good so yay me so anyway moving on to the middle nail i placed some of the nude poly gel on this nail it's not much i need because i'm going to be doing an ombre so i'm just feeding this nude poly gel into the nail tip however when using this poly gel it was constantly flooding my cuticles it was it wasn't that bad right now but it was looking like it could be trouble and guys it was eventually a lot of trouble you will see very soon but for now this is the introduction to all of the trouble that this poly gel and i think the rest of the poly gel too it gave some trouble but we will get to that later on so yes i'm trying my best to clean around the cuticle area before curing this nail and it was constantly flooding the cuticles so after a while i was like whatever i will file this when i'm done so i cured it for 30 seconds So I'm going to be using this beautiful glitter dip powder. It is a dip powder, yes, but it's mostly glitter and some clear dip powder. So it's mostly glitter. So let's say a blue glitter. So I'm going to be using that in this nail set. So I placed some gel base coat at the nail bed area of the pinky nail well mostly the nail bed area then i'm just going to be picking up some of the glitter and placing it on the pinky nail just to cover the nail bed area and i would flash your that for 15 seconds then i'm going in with a second layer of gel base coat then i'm just going to be picking up some more of the glitter and placing it on the nail i don't want my nail bed to be showing at all so i make sure that the glitter is compact on my nail so that it doesn't show and have any spaces in between and when i'm satisfied with how that looks i would cure that for 30 seconds And if y'all are noticing, I am mainly applying the larger glitters to the nail right now. And I flash girl that for 5 to 10 seconds. So I'm just trying to pick up a lot of the glitter. We don't waste glitter around here. Well, not all the time, but sometimes. So I'm just trying to put it back in the bottle. It didn't work that well, but whatever. So now I am going to be doing the tap method ombre so that the glitter so that this nail looks more like a glitter ombre instead of looking like someone individually applied all of these glitters to this nail so i placed another layer of gel base coat then using a brush i'm just going to be tapping the glitter on the nail just to create that type of ombre that i like and it also picked up a lot of the smaller glitters which is really what i wanted those smaller glitters would get into those pieces as well as make the nail look a lot more like an effortless type of glitter and yeah i'm just moving around some of the glitters right here just to make it look a little better 
and cleaning around the cuticle area and stuff and when I'm satisfied with how that looks I would cure that for 30 seconds well I did apply some of these butterfly glitters and then I cured that for 30 seconds then I'm applying some more gel base coat so that I can pick up some more of the butterfly glitters and place it on the nail and then I cured again for 30 seconds now on the index nail I am going to be placing some glitters as well so I just applied a layer of gel base coat then I'm going to be using my poly gel brush and I'm just going to be placing some of the small glitters on the index nail in a nice glitter line or something I don't know what to call this but yeah I'm doing that and when I'm satisfied with how that looks, I would cure that for 30 seconds. So this is how it looks and I cured it for 30 seconds now I'm applying another layer of gel base coat and then I am going to be applying some more of the glitter just to make certain areas a little bit more opaque and I would also cure that for 30 seconds. Now on the middle nail, I am just going to be applying some gel base coat. Then I'm just going to be picking up some of the glitters and placing it on the nail. I am going to be doing an ombre nail on this nail. So I decided to do the tap method on this nail instead of placing all of the glitters on the nail. I wasn't going to place all of the glitters on this nail but for the first layer I would have applied a few of the glitters individually and then on the second layer do the tap method but I just decided to do the tap method from the first layer so that's what I'm doing right here And when I'm satisfied with how the nail looks, I would cure that for 30 seconds. So I'm just applying a second layer of gel base coat. Then I'm just going to be picking up some of the butterfly glitters and placing it on the nail. Then I would cure for 30 seconds. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do on my thumbnail so I just decided that I would do the same thing that I did on the pinky nail so I'm just applying the milky white poly gel to the tip area of the thumbnail making sure to cover the whole tip area and tapering in the sides of the nail so that there's little filing to do when it's time for filing then I would cure that for 30 seconds Now I'm applying some gel base coat to the thumbnail mainly for the nail bed area so that I can apply some of the blue glitters to the nail and then I would cure that for 30 seconds when I'm satisfied with how it looks. Then on the second layer, 
I'm going to be doing the tap method ombre so that I can get more of the glitters on the nail and it looks more effortless and I would also cure that for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be encapsulating all of the nails but I'm only showing myself encapsulating one nail. So on the pinky nail I just placed a long bead of the clear poly gel I'm just distributing it on that nail making sure to cover the whole nail. And when I'm satisfied with how this looks I would cure for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in with a second bead to build the apex of this nail and I would also cure that for 30 seconds. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to hit the like button below, comment your thoughts on the design and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So this is after encapsulating all of the nails and when looking at the nails they low-key looked a bit yellow to me. I didn't like how that was looking I was a bit concerned and the fact that the middle nail, the tip of the middle nail looks like a milky white was applied to the tip area was very concerning as well because the tip area of that nail is supposed to be clear and as you can see here the clear poly gel did not cure fully and that was another thing that was happening while encapsulating all of these nails the clear poly gel was not curing for 30 seconds i had to cure it for 60 seconds and sometimes even longer which is really weird i don't know what was happening there so that was another problem i was having with the clear it wasn't clear in the first place and it wasn't curing the way it was supposed to cure because usually I would have issues on the thumb always however I was having issues on the rest of the nails when it comes to curing so yeah I don't know so anyway moving on I'm going to be doing a color block nail on the ring nail so starting with the nude poly gel I applied a manageable bead of the nude poly gel and I'm just forming that and squaring it off to create my color block I thought this was a manageable bead however the poly gel kept melting on my nail so I had to do three layers in order to get a thick nail bed area. Usually I would get it on two layers but the poly gel just kept flattening while I was trying to build it up and flooding my cuticles and even going over the sides of the nails. It was a hot mess. I didn't know what to do because it was stressing me out. So these poly gels became very soft and I don't know why they were so soft since my room was freezing cold, you know. So anyway, I cured this second bead and now I'm going in with another bead. So this is my third bead of the nude poly gel because as you can see, I just showed a side view. The nail was still flat. So this was the third and the last bead of nude poly gel that I placed. I couldn't do any more. It was just too much and do you guys see how wide this nail is it wasn't even supposed to be this wide but it just kept flooding everywhere and I couldn't control it so I just decided to cure it however it cures it cures I would file it to suit so that's what I did so I'm using rubbing alcohol to remove the stickiness now I'm just going to be filing this section just to get a nice tapered looking nail
now i'm going in with some gel base coat then i'm going to be picking up some of the blue glitter and placing it on one section of the nail what i should have done was applied some clear poly gel and then before curing the clear poly gel apply some of the glitter and place it on the nail and cure the reason i'm saying that now is because when i was finished with the color block i noticed that between the nude area and the glitter there was this dark shadow and that was because the glitter was too low on the nail it was actually on the nail tip and the nude area was thick so it created a shadow over the glitter however if i did apply the glitter closer to the surface of the nail it would not have created that type of shadow on the nail i hope i'm making sense with how i'm explaining it but yeah i should have done it like that make the glitter area be a little more closer to the surface of the nail as opposed to closer to the nail tip so anyway i had to do two or three layers i think it was three layers of the clear poly gel as well in order to build that section it gave me the same issue that the nude poly gel did so i did most of it off camera because i didn't want you all to be going through this yet again so i just used some rubbing alcohol and now i'm just gonna file the nail just to get that tapered look and then i will go ahead and apply the white poly gel the milky white poly gel to the tip area of the ring nail and i didn't have any issues or much issues with the milky white poly gel the only thing was sometimes it gave me a few bubbles in the nail but that was the only thing i didn't have any other problems thinking about it with the milky white poly gel and by the way this nail set is inspired by a picture i saw on pinterest so i would leave the nail inspo right here and i think this nail inspo was so good i really wanted to recreate it and do it some justice but i don't think i did any justice to this nail set because i do not like how this nail set turned out if i'm being very honest it wasn't a wow factor and the fact that i had so many issues with these poly gels just made me a lot more stressed so i was a tad bit disappointed in this nail set because i thought it would have turned out a lot better so i only had to do two layers of this milky white poly gel at the tip area curing each layer for 30 seconds So this is how the nails are looking. Now I'm using rubbing alcohol to remove the stickiness from the nails and then I would file my nails. But before filing, I needed to say a quick prayer because these nails were stressing me out. I needed Jesus.
so this is after filing of the nails and my filing was okay i like it so i'm going to be using my gel base coat from lime girl on all of my nails so i applied my first layer of gel base coat to the index nail and immediately i'm like what the heck the glitters are not glittering at all I was so confused but not confused at the same time because as I said before I noticed that the clear poly gel was not clear at all and guys do you see this? The glitters are just matte, practically matte on the nails. That was so disappointing. Actually seeing it was so disappointing. After all that hard work and to apply gel base coat to the nails and the glitters are not glittering wow so disrespectful the fact that a company is producing clear poly gel that isn't even clear is disrespectful so yeah this made me even more angry so yeah i'm just applying it i cured that for 30 seconds and do you guys see the middle nail why does the middle nail look like that why does the tip area of the middle nail look like that it it's supposed to be clear so i'm going to be using this matte top coat on some of the nails because in the nail inspo that i would place right here again the nails are mostly matte and i'm really grateful that the nail inspo is matte so the nails didn't look that bad because they were matte but the fact that the clear poly gel wasn't clear was the disappointing part so i didn't mind that the nails were matte because it looked way better matte as opposed to being glossy i'm applying the matte top coat here and before curing that i'm just going to be placing some blue rhinestones on the nail and then i would cure that for 30 seconds So this is how it looks now on the middle nail i'm applying a layer of matte top coat and i would also cure that for 30 seconds and you know what pissed me off even more i paid 20 dollars 21 dollars for this kit and this is the worst kit that i have received from timu the other three kits that i reviewed were amazing the poly gels didn't flood the cuticles even if it did it wasn't that much and the clear poly gel was really clear it was so clear that i was shocked how clear it was and i paid eight dollars for one ten dollars for one and thirteen dollars and this one i paid twenty one dollars for and this is the one that gave me so much trouble like what the hell so anyway i'm using my white gel polish from nail reserve if you're interested in purchasing anything from the nail reserve website you can use my code which will be listed on the screen and in the description below so i'm going to be doing a french nail on this nail right here then before curing that i'm going to be pouring some diamond dust glitter on the wet gel polish and i would cure that for 30 seconds
Now on the ring nail, I'm applying the matte top coat and I would cure that for 30 seconds. So guys, do you see the shadow between the matte and the glitter area? That is what I was talking about when I said I should have done a better job at placing the glitter so that that dark shadow area would not be seen. But unfortunately, I was experiencing so much stress with this poly gel, I just didn't do a good job. What more can I see? Oh well, you know. So, oh, before curing that, I'm applying some of the blue rhinestones to the ring nail and then I would cure that for 30 seconds. Next, I'm applying some of the Lime Girl Glossy Top Coat, which really didn't make a difference to the pinky nail and the thumbnail, and I would cure that for 30 seconds. So guys, I didn't show myself applying my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails because, you know, I was stressed. So yeah, this is the finished look. I think the nail set looks okay. I'm not going to lie, it looks okay. But the fact that I experienced so many issues with this poly gel kit was very disappointing. The poly gels were really soft and runny. Most of the poly gels were really soft and runny. The clear poly gel you cannot even say this is a clear poly gel because it wasn't clear at all i experienced too many issues with this poly gel kit for the price that i paid but regardless of that the nail set looks good i may decide to do a redo of this poly gel kit in the future you never know probably not but you never know if you're interested in this kit still i would leave a link in the description below if it is still available but let me know what you guys think about this nail set in the comments below thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you in my next one bye guys